Guys, I'm back. Same opener. Just do some uh, low adjustments. Put some of this, uh, some of this grease on the uh, components up in there. Uh, it's making a little bit of a rattling noise, but not bad. But I think I kind of. Sorry about the ugly beast. It's my brother's car. Guys, don't pay any attention to it. It'll be out here before you know it. It's only here for short term. Anyone wants it, I don't think they would want it. It's all, it's all rusty. So, all right, here we go, guys. Sorry, guys, car. All right, we'll run it back down. Pretty quiet, huh? I say so. Uh, that opener don't. The jack shaft don't really like it when I run it with this, but it's not gonna hurt, it's disconnected, it just does a lot of clicking. You know, the newer ones just do that. All right, well, uh, we'll give you another run. Gotta look at the ceiling for a minute. Don't wanna get her on my plate number. Sounds much better, huh guys? Oh, there's something else I wanted to show you. Someone else on YouTube told me about this component. Uh, I don't know who it is. But he had an old opener like this he was using permanently and the old receivers didn't work, so I was able to bypass using the brown box, which I showed in my last video. So this thing you just hook up, it's very simple to hook up, guys, it's not that hard. Uh, if you get one, be sure you change the battery in the remote, because if you don't, you're gonna think the thing doesn't work. So change the battery remote. Don't give one, go get a new one, I don't care. You know, it's only like 12 bucks, but it'll save you headaches in the long run, so. But yeah, now I don't need that brown box I was telling you about last time. You guys seen that, guys? This thing. I can bypass this and I don't need it because I got that receiver up in the ceiling there, so this bypasses this. So I won't need this anymore. I'll keep it just because it's original. Uh, so you're able to modernize your garage door opener, this thing. So it will still work today. It's got to be plugged in the receptacle, obviously. So. If you were to keep the opener and use it as a permanent opener, you have to run two wires off it. You have to run one for that, and then you have to tap off the same same ports and run a wire over to the door to the door of the garage from the house. But this thing I'm not leaving up because it's not staying with the house. I have it up here for videos for my uh, YouTube channel. But I wanted to show you this uh, this neat little item I got. Uh, hang on, I'll be right back. Let me go get the uh, let me go get the box. Hang on, guys. I'm pushing buttons. Hang on. All right, guys. There you go. Here's the. Uh, here's what you want if you're gonna modernize your overhead model 100 series. Well, 100A opener. This is what you want. This is compatible with it. Some guy on YouTube told me, or he didn't tell me. I was watching his video, and he's he's like, "Oh, buy this. This is the easiest to do." He's correct. I don't know the guy's name, but he has one of those openers I just showed you. But I think it's an earlier model, so. But there you guys go. I'm not going to show you everything about this thing. If you guys are interested in buying one, I got it on Amazon for 40 bucks. It's fairly priced. Uh, you just have to look for this uh, this model. Just punch that model number in in the Amazon and the chamber thing, and uh, you should be able to pull this one right up. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, here's the remote. The remote model number is, hang on guys, it is 953CD, made date 10 of 08. Wow, that's 10 years ago. This thing's an antique. And the F's, I don't know, I, I don't know guys, hang on. Well, whatever.
but the uh, the bottom one, uh, the HBW1573. I don't know. That's a frequency code, I guess. I don't know. But there's the uh, there's the other one with the same numbers on the top there, right above my phone, or below my pointer, the one five seven three, and then there's the date. So, all right, guys, this is what the remote looks like. Nothing special. So, there you go, guys. You interested in getting one? Just go to Amazon, buy. Like I said, they're only forty bucks. Have a good one, guys. Over now. Bye.